Now I've got a little bit of a challenge for you. I want you to read the fun manual and write the fun instructions. So I want you to use the Visual Studio MASM assembly syntax, the DB followed by the bytes to emit, and I want you to create this assembly sequence using only bytes. Don't write this in assembly and then, you know, look at the raw bytes. I want you to look at the move assembly instruction in the manual and figure out how you would emit this assembly instruction. I want you to look at the SAF assembly instruction, which we haven't even covered in class, but you now know how to read the fun manual, so go read the fun manual, find out what it is, figure out what bytes you need to emit to do that. This one's then going to be a little bit tricky. So we've got jump if zero, zero flag is set, and it's going to jump to my label. And so go look at what the manual says about the jump zero assembly instruction and how it formats the target where it's going to jump to and figure out what that target would be based on what this assembly instruction is encoded as. So in order to do this, you're probably gonna first have to figure out what this is, how many bytes that is, so that you understand how many bytes you're going to have to jump forward. And then cap it all off with a return assembly instruction. All right, so again, don't write the assembly in human write readable form. I want you to just write a whole bunch of bytes in order to create this assembly sequence. When you do that, you can set breakpoints in your assembly file, and then you can just go ahead and compile it, and run it, and look at the disassembly, and you can see whether or not the disassembler thinks the bytes you put in correspond to what you were trying to actually put in. 